Hey everybody, it's Friday once again. Dana Williams here, your soul mission mentor and artist of change. Today's topic is getting into the witness protection program. And um, as you know, I'm not a bible person, but I really do love some of the teachings that Jesus brought forward. And um, he said that when two or more are gathered, we can do powerful, powerful healing. And the witness is part of that healing. So if you imagine that instead of when you get triggered and become the message, and maybe you know you're 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 making statements from a five-year-old frozen, fractured, wounded part of yourself. <clears throat> you're not witnessing. There's no witness. <laughs> There's Elvis has left the building. There's nobody here to witness anything. So because you've become the the wounded part. So imagine that when you say you get triggered and. <clears throat> Instead of becoming all the different messages of these parts that are jumping up and down, telling their story, the idea is to draw a line in the sand with yourself. Make a vow. Don't take the bait. Don't become the message. You know, there's going to be a trigger in the outer world, boom, that causes you to take pause. And that's exactly what I want you to do. Take pause. Okay, just maybe even take a breath and decide, wait a minute. Am I going to become the message of the trigger and the story that's the wound? Or am I going to remember to take pause and become the witness? And think about it. When, you, when you're a good friend with someone, you're witnessing them, you're listening to them, your heart is with them, okay? Now all these orphan parts, they are trying to get our attention. Think of this like the, the, the wise adult over here, here's the, the wounded child. What we're doing is we're building a bridge, okay? However weak at first that bridge might be the more and more that you go into the witness protection program with yourself and decide to witness what does this what does this part have what story is this part telling me is it telling me uh, a, a story about i'm not good enough i'm not smart enough i'm not pretty enough i'm not making enough money um it, you know whatever it is Become the witness. You will get so much information. Ask yourself, okay, the story is here. Now ask yourself, the, when did this story happen? Where is the creation story in my timeline? What, what age was I, okay? Who was involved? That way you are listening to yourself, okay? I want you to learn how to communicate with your subconscious because when the subconscious, um, it's like a time machine. It basically just stores whatever it doesn't know what to do with, okay? So think about it. If you're walking around like a recycling building and you've got all of these stories and wounds that are piggybacked on top of you, you can't even get any space from them to witness them because you've you they they've been um, imprinted and the stories have just taken on life of their own. That's when we have to really really get into the witness and take pause. Think about your friends. If you're if you're there visiting with them and you're not present, you're not with them, you're not listening to them. You know you can tell when somebody's not paying attention. Well, imagine how the orphans feel when nobody picks up the message and nobody rescues them. Nobody even hears or sees them. Nobody gives them recognition. So that's my message for today. Please, please, please become the witness. Know that you could be, a, you could be all by yourself alone and there are two or more gathered, <laughs> okay? I mean, 
you've got even got your guides you've got your guardian angel you've got your master guides you've got your loved ones that love you from spirit and want you to do the best and by the way when you heal an imprint that is has been um, inherited uh, from one of your ancestors because of how they were with their lineage and what they learned from them when you do your healing work for you they get a healing in spirit as well so it's it's multi-task healing when you become the witness and allow yourself to to heal those wounds now if you need help with that please reach out to me um, it's not <laughs> I have huge success with people and um, it's not as hard as you think it might be. So I'd like to wish you all a very happy, um, wonderful weekend. And um, to all you mothers out there, happy Mother's Day. And to all the mothers in spirit that um, are no longer with us, wishing you all happy Mother's Day as well, especially my mother who's in spirit. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Okay, all of you, have a wonderful weekend, and remember to witness. Okay, bye for now.